have you done in the last year or two that's really worth a few right now? I basically spy on other people's channels and I see what the top converting video is or what got the most views and then what I do is I, I recreate the concept. I don't necessarily watch the video. I, I don't watch other people's videos. I look at the thumbnail and I look at the title and I'll just see, okay, how many views did this person, so uh, an easy way to do this is to go to somebody's YouTube page under the search, go to the video section, under the video tab, and then under the drop down, you're gonna see like most popular videos. So I'll see what the most popular video is on the channel, look at the title, and look at the thumbnail. And that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video on it. I don't wanna watch their video because I don't wanna sound like that person on the video. So I just think of my own idea. And I've done this multiple times, man, and every single video I've done it with has done well. But talking to the camera, versus having other having b-roll having all this other stuff I'm, I'm, just straight talking to the camera that's straight talking to the camera i get a, a mix um i got one video that has like sixty-five thousand views right i did that video a little over a year ago that's me talk i'm sitting in front of my house on my porch I just talking that. directly to the camera but i got another video where i kind of mix it up i make it more entertaining you gotta remember this is infotainment Right, so people want to be entertained. Got another video where I, I say buy your first rental property even if you're broke. Now in that title, although I'm using different scenes, like I could be sitting here, over there, over there, and over there, five different key points. I could turn that into a whole video. But here's the deal. I'm teaching in that whole video. And that's a 30 minute video. People love that video. They feel like they got a home study course in one video, even though I'm not really you know, I, I'm not going into too much detail on, on everything, right? So that's another style. But then I got another style, where like this event that we're at right now, I'm gonna use different interviews and different scenes to be able to create a video. I did a video a couple weeks ago that's doing really well in Atlanta, where I, I was speaking at the event, so it was more of a vlog style video, but it was really a teaching, a talking head video, because I'm sitting on the couch teaching, while I'm teaching and showing and, and, and talking, he's just showing B-roll of what's going on. So that's more of an entertainment style video. I saw somebody else who had a watch video and I said, I'm gonna take that video and spin it into real estate. And it was just a different watch at different times in my business career. But I said, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell a story of how this watch resonated at this point and what I could have done with the money instead of bought a stupid watch. And then how over the years, I learned more about passive income versus you know, active income, and then just tell the whole story. It was basically a 15 minute story. I think that video is gonna do well. Do you find Jamal, the videos that are shorter, eight to 15 minutes perform better than like your long videos that are half an hour, 45 so minutes? Eight to 12 minutes are my highest converting videos. Um, the reason I put out long form content, 40 to 60 minutes, is for more view time. And that ramps up the money. You ask me how much money I make on YouTube. I only have, I'm about to hit 16,000 subscribers this week. I, I'm making about three grand a month on YouTube. You're getting good views because you're making three. Three grand, you're getting, you're getting a good number of views. Um, I, I average mean, between one and 2,000 views per video. Yeah. But I, uh, like last month, September, I only put out six videos. I usually do 12 to 15. I'm trying to take it back some because I'm, I'm making the same kind of money with six or seven videos that I was with 15 videos. So I'm doing less work but making the same amount of money. you be more methodical about the videos. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Methodical, are you talking about you be more, uh, just, they look better, they pop better. Not necessarily that, because the videos always look good. It's just being more aware of What's what I'm working? putting out there. Yeah. And doing more research up front yeah. and being more creative in the video. What's not working? Any one of this table, what's I'm, I'm struggling with this and having a hard time with this with YouTube? With YouTube, yeah. My 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 uh, my struggle is the fact that I I'm doing two niche content, 
So I'm doing, I was doing a lot of content about hey, how to find cash buyers, but that's only going to serve. I'm going to interrupt you, I'm yeah. going to interrupt you. Do you know that or that's just somebody's advice that they gave you and you think that? The, that's a good question, that's a good question. I, my, ba my kind of, my our shift in strategy is based around the consultation that I had with their OEs. And I'm, you know, to me, I've, I've gone through, I'm a maniac, he knows it in terms of research. I, Whoever's course is out there on YouTube, I've gone through it. So my brain is like a big fucking spaghetti bowl of shit. <laughs> right? So I talk to Daryl Eves and I'm like, you know, I gotta go all on in this guy and so right now I'm following him. And what he talks about, he said, you, you gotta do broader topics that are, that more people because you're only gonna, you know, if you're doing wholesaling stuff, you're only gonna get so far. You need broader topics. And I'm struggling with YouTube because I'm a little, I'm stalled at 15 and, and the growth is, is not doing that well. So we're so doing- how many, how, how many subscribers do you have? 15,300. So I remember when I started, you were about double my channel. Yeah. So you slowed down on content. I slowed down. Gotcha. I slowed down okay. because also too, there was, uh, there was a month where I only did four videos. And only because I wasn't seeing any traction. So I kind of kind of got uh, lost my way around it. And then uh, now we're recommitting. Because also I was at Grant Cardone's event and uh, this past weekend. And then um, just looking at what he's done with social media, um, I was getting my own way. Like, you know, I was just like self-conscious about the content and everything else. And then now, like, uh, now I'm fully committed. Now I'm like, we're gonna do this even if it kills us. We're gonna make it happen. So, but I'm struggling with content and trying to- now, What do you mean struggle with content? We're well, just trying to find my voice, trying to kind of find my voice, where I wanna go in terms of my voice, outside of just talking about real estate investing. 15,000 people presumably like your voice. At yeah. least at some point they did. But if he's not happy creating that type of content, True. it's not going to yeah. grow that much more. So my, my question to you, we've talked about this offline, is who do you want to help? Yeah. Right? People, people call it the avatar, but like, who is it you want to speak to? And, and what is it you're trying to help them with? Like, what's their pain point? I mean, as marketers, that's what we all have to look at, right? It's like, yeah. you know, who's our customer? What are their challenges? And how does what we provide help them? I don't think subscribers and it mean really, it's like followers. It don't mean anything. What means something is how much money am I making, if that's what you're looking for, how much passive income, or my CTA, am I driving traffic to a certain landing page to this? How much actual money am I making for my channel? I don't like to do real estate. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and lie, man. I hate it. Mean, I, I, you know, I, I don't, you know, I do it because it's, because of the money, man. You know what I mean? It's a vehicle. I don't want to be sitting here. But, and you're teaching, but the, I think the key here is you believe that, but you're also teaching other people. Because that's a plane. No, 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 I'm not done. You're teaching other people that it's a vehicle. You're teaching other people that, like, look, real estate is gr a great tool. That's it. Oh and, but, and you believe that. But you're teaching other people, look, don't fall in love with real estate. Yep. Fall in love with real estate provides for you. Time and freedom. Like, wholesaling is freaking overrated, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, come on. That's a high paying right, job. Man. Brother, I am fortunate to be a part of this conversation because I'm a virgin in the YouTube space. Okay. I have a channel, but I haven't devoted any time and attention because my biggest challenge, I talked to Chico about this, is I don't want to go down the rabbit hole. I just want to create content and have it automatically happen for me. And I just haven't found the right people to surround myself to do the thumbnails, to, 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 to research the best. Do you think that that's important? Do you see value in that? Is that something you're gonna start doing? Yeah, 100%. I just wanna be able to, like, like, when I started the podcast, I said, I don't wanna do post-production, I don't wanna do editing, I wanna record, I wanna upload to Dropbox, and it, has, it gets published every Monday and Thursday. And that's what I've done for five and a half years. If I could replicate that with YouTube, I'm all in. So my struggle right now is I took a year and a half off. And I took a year and a half off at 3,000, I had 3,200 subscribers when I took a year and a half off. I just got back about four months ago. I'm up to four, over 4,000 subscribers now. So I'm due, I've got good traction, but I took, the, I took all that time out off. So the reason I started back up on YouTube was because of Chico. So this was at the, at the first uh, Family Mastermind event. He said, yeah, I'm about, he was already ramping up his YouTube page. I said, I'm about to start. He said, just do it. I spoke to him a two, uh, maybe two, three months after that. He said, I'm about to put out a video every day. By then, I had already started. So I had maybe 4,000 subs back then. But over the last year and a half, almost two years, I put out 250 videos. Right? So no, I'm committed to a video a day. I've been doing it for about two weeks. I know it's early in the game, but um, I'm committed to I've got so much content. I record so much content. I'm an interview style YouTube channel. I've got 
literally 50 interviews right now where I haven't put them all out. I've got so much content that's ready to get pushed out. Stay ahead I'm, of the game. I'm, 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 I'm six months ahead of the game, literally, right now. So it's now about just finding that person to go in there. It's the titling, it's the uh, thumbnails. Here's what I'm strongly considering doing. I'm, I'm almost there. I, just, I, need, I need you guys to like, yes, this is great, no, it's terrible. But it's a huge commitment. A daily real estate news show where I bring people on five minute segments Jamel jump in here here's the latest news here's the latest stuff that's going on like an hour long show daily live real estate is so it's such a small niche man. like yeah you can reach a certain amount of people like the reason why like a Graham Stephan blew up is because he talks about everything it might he might relate it to real estate but he, he's talking about watches, he's talking about cars, he's stocks, talking about crypto. stocks real and crypto and every Real estate is too niched down to blow up a really big channel. Chris Crone, he only has like five or 600,000 subs, man. He's been doing this, what, just as long as I have. Chris Crone has eight, almost 800. <laughs> All right, so his channel, last time I checked, it was a couple months yeah. ago. So he got, so again, how long did it take for him to get 800,000 versus Graham Stephan in three years and he has four million? Or me, Kevin, me, Kevin. Me, another one you know, because he talks about everything real estate is too niche down so if your goal is to blow a channel up i think you got to open it open it up to different types of conversations but to me blowing up is like 100 to 200 thousand subscribers that's well this is the one thing that's blowing up for me hey, i'm going to make a comment because what daryl e says he says that uh that subscribers is not the key component he says say views you want point. views for sure that's so, where the money is for sure. yeah you want views because a good channel that's getting great views is ben mala you know oh, yeah. ben mala yeah. yeah if you look at his he's, he has, he's killing it bro yeah I mean, he's but, his channel blew up immediately but you know you know what i'm a strong believer i don't have a big youtube channel like you guys but i'm a strong believer that you got to be authentic you got to be yourself you can't try to be ben molly you can't try to be ryan trip you got to be you got to be you, gotta be you. Gotta be you. Well, i think it's a mistake to ignore youtube because number one whatever content you create it's ever i mean there's videos that you have that a year two years old that the, they're so getting views that doesn't happen on instagram doesn't happen on tiktok right youtube is a passive play for me man I consume so many podcasts and now 80% of my time from a from a from a consumption standpoint is YouTube. YouTube. It's not podcast anymore and I'm a podcaster so we'll figure. And YouTube has more discoverability. You're not yeah. gonna blow up with a podcast, but you can blow up with YouTube. Because of Google. So you can yeah. blow up with Google. I use morning fame. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. I yeah. use that and I keyword out everything. So my stuff is constantly making money. My stuff don't blow up as quick. Yeah. But long term, I'm gonna make more money. That's how I'm able. I was able, I, I I make 20% of what my subscribers are on a. Did so I'm at 15,000. I make 3,000 dollars a month. Did you go backwards and start cleaning up, putting new thumbnails to older videos that were doing pretty well? See, I'm I'm in the process of doing that. Like yeah, cleaning up, cleaning up some stuff. of my really good videos that have a lot of views and making catchier titles. Better thumbnails, better tags. I didn't want to do that because I want I want people to see the evolution over the years. You know what I'm saying? So I said, okay. Now I will admit I deleted maybe five or six videos. That's it. I probably shouldn't do it. I, need to I do probably it. shouldn't I need to have. About 50. Right? I probably shouldn't have. Here's what you do: you recreate that same exact video, but you modernize it. Okay, here's a video I did a little while back. Oh, I love that. Since then, I've had updates. Things have changed. Let's talk about it now. You'll probably get hits on both of them. Matter of fact, here's a, I'm gonna tag that video up in the top for you, and you can go watch that video. I've done that on several of my newer videos. I did videos back in 2014. I recreated them. I said 2014 and now completely different. Let's update this and let's talk about it right now. You know what I mean? As I listen to you, and as I listen to myself and the questions you ask. I was like, nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> right? Everybody has a different plan true, man. and the complexity of it. I think that the other thing I would say is that don't underestimate the task at hand because the task at hand, like all the work you do with the thumbnails, the titles, the video and everything else, I, I'm like very appreciative of the fact that it is a big fucking boulder that you're, you're, you're on. But I think that, the, that, the, uh, that what you'll get at the end, I think, is worth it. 
That's my opinion. At the end of the day, it all goes down to what are you doing it for? Yeah. For me, it's passive income. So it's the only reason, and I do want to help people, don't get me wrong. So that's why I provide the kind of value I do. But really, it's a passive income play. My videos will be watched 10, 20, 30 years from now, and I'll still be generating income. Max Maxwell said that. He said, you know, I don't buy a lot of rental property. But you know what's a rental property for me? That video. I just made that video. That's a rental property. It's two, that, that's a $300 a month uh, passive income video for me. That's a passive income video. That's a passive income. He said that two, three years ago, and that's when YouTube clicked for me.